hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word give it light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations. Lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, one last time now. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. my hands in the name that is above all names there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now I decree and declare I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore I stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one now bring them out take that grace now take that grace now breathe lord
exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations bring them out. See Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe upon my heart. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down, I want you to bring them out. As God breathes right now, some of you, a physical wind will blow towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every ordinance of darkness must give way now. Satan, by the breath of the Spirit, let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Bring them out. Shalakatos, ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now, release them now, release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your, power, your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now, be released now. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One. Two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Be released. Exalted. Exalted. Exalted, exalted, lift it up, lift it up, we lift you up, exalted, 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 breathe, Lord. The Lord is about to breathe upon those trusting God for employment. I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors right now I stretch my hands let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three. Father where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand may that grace rest upon you now. 
May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power. His wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted to the nations. See Jesus. Lift your voice and say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that everything you have for me. I receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion shake parasco brande ge balaka to se fresia shada begete balaka prakata paranda ka sabrede ge belegeta everything you have the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors direction illumination I receive tonight by your spirit. Someone pray. Seka parakatos kalebrende kebereketos. Those following from across the globe, pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you. Receive by faith. The Bible says, Now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska branda kebarekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the Living God. Some
woman is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing. All that see my prophetic word. All that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. Shake Parakatoski Atabat. Sabranda Gaberekos, Salakos, Gaberekos. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. 
in the court of law when a verdict is given and it is against you and you feel that justice was not meted out there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah he said pack up your load he said, god almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man put your house together you will not recover hezekiah said i respect you prophet you leave he turned his face knowing that the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love that in the character of god mercy triumphs over judgment are we together say father every judgment against my life against my family manifesting as a cause manifesting as negative patterns let the mercy of god overrun and overturn open your mouth and pray let mercy we appeal by the mercy of god that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of god that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses. Mercy over ill speakings. That even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight. In the name of Jesus hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 and god remembered noah this is why the rain stopped and god remembered noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and god made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuage verse 2 he says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time 
God remembered that there was still a man. If this rain continues, even the man I'm trying to preserve, that evil will eventually destroy him. There is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve. While it was rising, God remembered for the sake of Noah, I have to stop this flood now. You are going to pray. There are certain evils that have prevailed. But now that you have come, you are going to say, Lord, remember that I am your son. Remember that I am your daughter. The Bible says, which of you, whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish? and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah give me this day for in Jesus mighty name i pray in jesus much less name we pray let me just deal with these issues once and for all over our lives for as long as we are alive let me tell you and this anointing god has given us that which represents limitation in your life bar we must crush it to its knees I'm about to pray now and I want you to please bring those people under the anointing now that the power of God comes upon in the name of Jesus every family every individual every destiny that has been tied down by altars of limitation so that you will not move forward maybe you are a mother maybe you are a father maybe you are a man of God maybe you are a businessman maybe you are coming here for the first time watching online and it looks like there are all Altars that have vowed that you will not move forward. I stand by this mantle. I have been anointed by God to declare your liberty. Right now, may the power of God come upon you. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. Some of you are standing not only for yourself. I want to pray for families here. Whole families that have been tied down. It looks like Every altar sitting on the sitting on the glory of any family. If I be sent by God, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. May fire fall upon that altar now. May fire fall upon that altar. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare my release. Every limitation, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Is someone praying? Those following online, I release that anointing upon you from America to Europe to Nigeria, parts of Africa. I declare, may the anointing of the Spirit touch you right in your room, in your office, right now. 
Every chain that has tied your hand and tied your feet. Hold on, please. Listen, we are still praying. In Acts chapter 12, watch this now. When Peter was in the prison, they tied two parts of his body. Number one, his hands. That's a symbol of your productivity. Number two, your feet. That is the symbol of your advancement. They didn't tie his mouth. They didn't tie his eyes. But they tied his hand and his feet. And the Bible says they bound him. That means to bind a man. It is not every part of him you need to tie. If you can tie his productivity and tie the basis for his advancement, that man is bound. Let me release someone by the anointing of the spirit. I declare your hands spiritually. My God, fire is coming on people's hands now. These hands that have not been released. Maybe your father's hand was tied and all through his lifetime he lived a miserable life. Maybe your mother's hand was tied. Some of you, the hands of your siblings. I come holding the key of David given by the God of heaven himself in the name of Jesus. May those chains be loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Shapaka Toskata. Loose from your feet. Man of God, I release you. It's time for your ministry to open up. I release you. Apostle, prophet, teacher, Makatosh Keteketa. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Be released now. When Jesus was buried, it was not just enough that he was put in a tomb. The Bible said a stone was used to cover that place. So when Jesus resurrected, it was not just enough to come out to rise from the dead. That stone needed to be rolled away so he would come out. Same thing happened with Lazarus. Let me roll away any stone. When it was time for Lazarus to come back to life, let me speak to someone. Everything dead in your life, hear the word of the Lord. Come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive. Every mantle, every door of favor, every opportunity that has been closed over your destiny. Everything that has died, hear the word of the Lord. Your influence, your relevance, come back to life now. Come back to life now. He says, Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. He said, prophesy. I want to prophesy. Oh, bones can come back to life. Dead businesses can come back to life. Dead spiritual dimensions. You used to have dreams, prophetic encounters. You used to pray for hours. But now something has happened to your life. May that fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, hear me, when there is an attack in your life, there are three things that you will lose. Number one, the first thing that you will lose to tell you that the devil is attacking your life is your peace. The second thing that you will lose when the devil is attacking your life is the gift of men. If you lose money, it was not an attack. It can just be a business mistake. 
But when you lose men, I assure you, it's an attack. Hmm. Hallelujah. Look at this. Every point in the life of Jesus, men and angels came to attend to him. But when he was on his way to go to the cross, men ran away from him. Only one man, out of the multitudes of people he had helped to build and raise and do all of this, one walked with him and held the cross for him, aside from John and his mother at the cross. So when you begin to lose your peace, Number two, when you begin to lose the gift of man, it is an attack from the pit of hell. Hallelujah. The third thing that you will know as a sign that is an attack is passion. Passion for the things of God. Passion for your destiny. Passion for actualizing your goals. Nothing matters again. Your fight, the Bible says, the zeal of the Lord will perform this. There is something called the zeal of the Lord. When you lose your peace, when you lose men, when you lose passion, know immediately that there is an attack. I want to declare these three things over your life before we sit down. Number one, the Bible says, now the Lord of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means. I want to prophesy that by all means dimension of peace. That means whatever it takes for your peace, in the name of Jesus, may God make it so in your life. That by all means order of peace, enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Number two, there are some of you who have jobs, but you do not have men. Some of you have intellect, you don't have men. Some of you have churches, but you do not have men. Men are very important. Men are in many cases a sign that God is with you. I have taught you that the proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is access to the hearts of men. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call to your life the ministry of men. I call to your life the ministry of men. Enjoy the ministry of men. Enjoy divine connectors. Enjoy men of influence. Enjoy gifted men. Enjoy burden bearers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, before you sit, let me pray for your passion. Some of you, your dreams have died because you are no longer serious about it. Everything you said you would do this year, the zeal. Some of you, even for ministry, you may be men and women of God, but sincerely, that zeal again, the zeal to fast, gone. Zeal for God, gone. Zeal for your goals, gone. The resilience to push towards your destiny is gone. Right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I'm speaking as a prophetic word for someone. Let your zeal be restored. Let your zeal be restored. Your zeal for the house of God. Your zeal for the things of God. Your zeal for the pursuit of your destiny. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth in one minute and receive. I declare that I receive in the name of Jesus. For those in front, I decree and declare the hand of God rests upon you. That which you have been delivered from will never return to you again. You walk in the liberty that is in Christ. Go and return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, if you're a man of God here, please listen. It is very good to be excellent and organized, but it's also very important to be discerning. Because one moment, God, when God is sending people to come here, He's attentive to the need of everyone. 
even though they may seem like there are thousands of people and tens of thousands others following by way of internet let me tell you when god deals with men he deals with men corporately but he deals with men individually are we together now for the sake of one person god can wake a man of god and say make sure you suspend five minutes of your sermon until you address that person's pain this is the god that we serve so i'm um, whether you are in this auditorium or all of the overflows to the basement or outside or following by way of internet please do not allow the devil deceive you that you are so far you are beyond sight that means you don't know who god is the bible says jesus left one side of the sea the disciples almost lost their life and went to Gadara to meet only one man deliver that man set him free and return back that's how far he can go for the sake of one person hallelujah so when god brings words like this among the many things that this words reveal is the depth of his love he lets you see and he lets you know that for your sake that when he's sending you to church you may be seated inside or seated outside and you may be wondering i don't think i count among the tens of the thousands of people around but that's not the way god works he can send a word and make it look like you are the only one in that church and address your issue and address your issue there are times you can be thinking and say, God, in my simple faith, if you are the one, talk to me about this. And the man of God can stop his sermon and address that issue. Because God wants to go that far to give you confidence that he is dependable. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, so be seated for one minute again. We'll pray. Don't be tired of praying. Ask the Lord again to reveal His counsel to you. Go ahead. Pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Most believers do not pray according to scripture. Most believers do not pray according to knowledge. There is such a thing as praying amiss. Have you read it in scripture? Apostle James said, it is possible for one to pray amiss. He says, let that man not think he will receive anything from the Lord. Prayer. That every time you bow your knees to pray, do you know how much of a blessing you will be if people know that your prayer really works so when you tell them i want to pray for you they are happy there are many people if they say i want to pray for you they just laugh at you because they know that you have not even sorted the subject of prayer you don't even understand what you are saying change that narrative with determination god wants the average believer listening to me to get to a point where you don't just pray but you understand the jurisdiction and the assignment of prayer whilst you are seated in one minute i like you to just begin to pray and obtain grace from god you are seated inside you are seated outside obtain grace let it be from the depth of your heart father i obtain grace i obtain grace to fan my prayer altar back in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, someone is praying. She prande kaskede la hasibaj, magata prande gede beleko siyata. I obtain grace. I can pray negative things out of my life. I can pray the will of God into my life and destiny. You want to strive for mastery, you must understand prayer. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible recommends, listen carefully. The Bible recommends an approach to prayer. The most effective dimension of prayer 
second only to praying in the spirit is praying the promises of god write it down please praying the promises of god isaiah 41 and verse 21 the word of god as you know defines the boundary of god's commitment to the believer that means god cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions and the allowance of scripture let me repeat myself god cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions and the allowance of scripture the word of god defines the boundary of god's commitment to the believer it says produce your cause saith the lord bring forth your strong reasons saith the king of jacob do you know what this means approach prayer like a legal system in the realm of the spirit don't just say god bless me based on what don't just say god change my life you are god that's the kind of prayer we pray lord i'm tired of this situation arise oh god based on what he says produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons that means bring my word to me in prayer the scriptural basis that commits me to move on that wise are we together so the devil is plaguing your family plaguing your life and he said god i'm tired of this situation in jesus name i assure you you reported your situation but you didn't pray what is the basis lord bless me uh -uh. what is the basis even jesus himself i've taught you this when satan came to jesus he said it is written it is written is what gives strength to your prayer it is not what you are saying that gives strength to your prayer it is saying what is written when you say what you want it is not prayer when you say what is wrong it is not prayer is when you connect what you want and what is wrong to what god has said now that is prayer father your word declares that though my beginning be small my later end will greatly increase based on this truth in the name of jesus i place a demand upon the grace that makes for advancement and increase now you are praying as simple as it sounds i can tell you many believers will keep shadow boxing and believing they are praying the promises of god i've taught you here that the word of god contains three things essentially every time you open scripture the word of god is a capture of promises principles and prophecies every time you open your bible you are interacting with number one the promises of god number two the principles of the kingdom number three prophecy can i tell you this if you are a leader here of a prayer group you are a leader here of any prayer platform don't just tell people pray 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 bring the scriptures that support what you are asking if not i can guarantee you you wasted your time hezekiah turned his face to the wall he would have said god this is not fair he said remember i have worked diligently in other words remember what your word says about those who serve your house can i tell you this if you know how to bring forth your strong reason you can go to bed you will commit god and and destroy dislodge anything that is not of god in prayer i speak life i speak like you're gonna leave oh my brother my sister i speak like you are the head and not the tail you will prevail I speak like don't give up the fight for your life you shall live and not die. Listen to me. 
this thing you see is a very powerful song but when you get to the place of prayer you must find what god has said otherwise you have not prayed father i bring before you your word your word declares that life and death has been set before me blessing and cursing that i have the power to choose life now in honor to your word i choose life you are making decrees it's been registered in the realm of the spirit when you are saying it demons are hearing you and there is a basis for your confidence what is written Father, your word declares that a thousand shall fall by my side and ten thousand by my right side, that none shall harm me. It is not just what is written that blesses you, it is what is written that you have found and you engage with understanding, even in the place of prayer. I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and a rejoicing unto me. Is someone learning? So your first assignment when you want to engage in prayer, especially in understanding, is to make sure you have the patience to bring the scriptures that, begin, that, that become the basis of your defense and of making your petition. Don't just go and pray and ramble around. Internet has made it easy to pray efficiently. If you want to pray concerning your health, say for instance, you can go and just Google prayers concerning health. Different scriptures will come is your responsibility to filter it by the spirit to the two or three If you can find just two or three That may be sufficient go to the place of prayer Lord I bring before you this and you are praying And while you are praying you find out that things just begin to shift and change. Believers, please hear me. If we don't teach believers the power of prayer and gaining mastery, even in the place of prayer, many people will stop praying. They will be tired and say, this thing does not work. The prayer that works is the prayer that is connected to scripture. The prayer that works is the prayer that is derived of the spirit outside of the ministry of the word and the spirit prayer does not work let me repeat outside of the ministry of the word and the spirit prayer does not work it just becomes a motion of dissipating energy prayer is based on what god has said prayer is based on what you want that is connected to what god has said your first assignment is to find out what he has said that relates to what you want now you can go to the place of prayer with understanding the bible says this is the confidence we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us so it tells you there is a possibility that you will not be heard if it's not according to his will you've been in zamfara for three years but you are returning as if you're in the uk you can fly to UK with that altar. It will wait for you at Heathrow Airport. As soon as you are landing, you enter and all the doors close. People who never knew you are still manipulated by that altar to walk against you. And you thought it's just something in Nigeria. And at the end of it, you come back after five years looking like a thief. Where have you been? UK. Are you sure? Yes. Why are you like this? You know the way life is. People smuggle their way and pass through rivers and deserts all to go to Germany and UK. Whereas they think that's the greener pasture. The greener pasture is the altar you raise. That speak. That speak. That speak. Until Jesus came, there was a universal altar speaking against man. Vengeance. Vengeance. But when Jesus came, he established another altar that spoke better promises, better things. I cannot live walking and living my life to chance and hoping that things will be all right. I know things will not be all right. If they will be all right, you must create it. You must create it. So I enforce compliance. Will the devil leave you because he thinks God anointed you? No. No. Satan is not that cheap. You are going to contend. That's why he said put on the whole armor. Put on the whole armor. There is a devil somewhere. 
that will destroy your life destroy your ministry destroy your business destroy your destiny you get married to a very lovely wife you loved her with all your heart they ask both of you will you love yourself you say yes the moment you married everybody brought their altars in holy matrimony now you are nice people this altar was designed to scatter the finances of whoever is standing with you and all of a sudden a good woman but you find out that your entire life starts going down and if you meet a a prophet who is not sound in scripture he will tell you your wife is the reason for your failure based on prophetic insight he has seen that there is an altar associated with her it's not a lie that is responsible for that downfall the individual may be the nicest person in the world but the altar will not change please hear what i'm teaching you and there are men no matter what happens if they marry maximum three years the wife must die and all of a sudden from the day the dear lady got married he may be a pastor apostle prophet how many men of god have altars fighting them they look around and they claim nothing is happening and they assume that because they took on the call for ministry god is too generous to allow them it's a joke no sir and this man gets married to this dear lady and all of a sudden she starts sleeping mysterious sicknesses she never had heart palpitations she will feel being pressed and she says my husband i don't know what is wrong i'm at, since we got married i said are you trying to say i'm a witch look at what the altars are causing then two of them go for counseling and they meet a man of god who is sincere but no spiritual intelligence and he says look it's how marriages are just take it easy pray together and it doesn't mean what he's saying and they say okay they say hug your wife in front of me they now hug themselves hold my hand darling they go back home the altar say welcome back by evening that man has slapped her again remember he promised in the presence of the pastor not to do it again but the altars brothers and sisters that's why god puts meetings like this because you can be sitting down now not knowing the deliverance that is happening you just feel something left me i don't know what happened and you go back and you who would have you would have blown somebody out of anger you find out that that force that comes upon you when you are angry that can make you insult anybody is no longer there because there is an altar this ministry you see is an altar we don't have an altar this is it's a it's an altar that's why you can talk against it in your secret place and start going down nobody is aware because the altar speaks all of a sudden a man of god will teach them how to raise altars and they will raise an altar of prayer and come and say look we are not bad people the devil is confusing us here you are a good woman i'm a good person we did not negotiate where to come from and all of a sudden day one shekato praskataya now watch what is happening they are holding their hands and praying after that day they just feel good but nothing really happens I told you consistency is how spirits are attracted they too she the, the man doesn't want to pray but she says honey remember we're on a project here you know what we, are, we have left at home let's do this thing after one week two weeks somebody starts having a dream somewhere after one week a spirit must appear to somebody somewhere and try to warn somebody an effect is being created in the realm of the spirit it's not a sign of weakness you can't sit upon hot fire and act as if you is not it can't be for too long listen to me that's what is happening to some of you now it was after your seven days of prayer you had a strange dream you have never had you thought it's a sign that you are losing it's a sign of victory something is happening in the realm of the spirit all of a sudden you went to sleep and you saw a vision of your mother when she was young your father when he was young the spirit of god is trying to show you something follow him but that's when the spirit of slumber comes god keeps saying for one month wake up by two o'clock there's something i'm doing in your life after two weeks you don't wake up again you see how we cheat ourselves and you don't know that you are on the path of deliverance you reign you reign 
as your king. You reign. You reign. You reign. As your king. You reign. I promise you, if you listen to what I'm teaching you tonight, many of you, as soon as you go back, you will see the dream you will have this night. The devil hates what you are hearing because this is the age long mystery that has kept people in your family educated, but it's like they are not educated. A pastor, you are blessing people, but you never rise yourself. Do you know why? Because your victory is tied to your altar, not just your service. Your altar. I created an altar that is independent of koinonia and I said no devil will come and destroy me no no watch this please come again the two weeks we are praying we are praying we are praying we are, praying. We are fasting something starts happening one day there will be a breaking point in the realm of the spirit if that prayer were two hours a day will come it will become a vigil not by not because you like it there will be you will break open a portal in the realm of the spirit and two hours prayer will become prayer till morning and your child will come and meet you and say that i saw a man in white and i saw the man doing something on your head spiritual activities are happening in the family all of a sudden you start seeing doors opening you love your wife like never before the devil told you the secret is to marry another one no sir you marry another one the altar is still the same there are pastors the altars that fight them and in first risk of their ministry something happens people start leaving they have raised so many people but have not been raised by themselves there are altars i've seen it fight people I've seen it fight people I know. These altars fought me for years. You go to sleep. A strange woman appears to you and sleeps with you in the dream. You get up and say, sorry, I don't know what is happening. Someone is about to marry you. Here comes the stranger again. What is bringing the stranger? Have you ever asked? You relocate to another house. He still looks for you and comes. Kabarota Sigata. They are about to promote you in the office. All of a sudden, your physical document disappears. Physical document. How many students seated here? That's the mystery behind the results you are seeing. The ugly results that you are seeing. You love God and you are sincere. But that's the mystery behind the demonic things you see on that board. You are not that God. You write your exams and go back. The authors continue writing things. Continue writing things. I know what I'm saying. Listen to me. You hear people coming here with four points. They were not born that way. They have tapped into a higher covenant. You see them surprised by their own results. They know it's not their efforts. That's why people join certain ministries. Join certain men of God. See people partner with certain anointings. This is the mystery of partnership. When you partner with an anointing, you access the covenant. The covenant, not the promise, the covenant. There are parents today, the moment you are 50 years arthritis, you get up one morning, father cannot work, mother cannot work, their entire pension is spent on it. It's not sickness, it's a programming. An altar is accurate with digital precision. Regardless of your foreknowledge, it will work. It will work. I have seen it destroy families. I have seen it destroy ministries. That's why certain ministries remain small. No matter how anointed they are, an anointed man with fire on his head, but he will not cross certain boundaries. Once they reach 200, something must happen. 
a wrong news will spread around a scandal must come whether it's true or not have you not seen students their last and final exams they will go and the spirit will start moving them carry something to the exam hall they don't want to but it's an altar you are too weak to fight it you will promise that you will not take it and you take it as soon as you are sitting they just catch you and they said your entire six seven years cancelled brothers and sisters it's an altar there are families that as a family they are victims of abuse everybody mother father brothers all the daughters will eventually meet a man of god somewhere and all the man of god will do is to destroy them it will happen they are scattered in every place but their experiences are the same you will see them and like them but at the end of it you must leave them with pain they think is that the ministry is bad but the issue is the altar there are altars you give birth to men they must die they must die something must kill them no matter how healthy they are they must die brothers and sisters i have seen this evil it exists tonight we are going to pray are we together when it's time i'm not going to give you a prayer point when it's time to pray we are going to pray tonight you are going to erect many of you as you pray tonight you will see what will begin to happen to you i want us to lift up a fire in this place tonight and say lord this demon that molests me in my sleep I can't be pretending that it's not there again. These animals that come to me in my sleep. No. I started a business well. Why is it that I start good things? Something evil was come. Lift your voice and pray. hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus 
shout it say in the name of Jesus tonight I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray I tear it down Altars of delay Altars of barrenness Altars of failure yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone we are doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand shabaka to labakaria embra tekas katafras kalabakuria dabashi say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness Shabbat Kata Matele Kodosia Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven.
Haleluya. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny. Because of where I'm coming from. I prophesy tonight. Your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Altars associated with territories. Associated with territories. I come against you. By the God of heaven. I come against you. Pray, pray. I come against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looks like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders on the rise of God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mandates restore ministries Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen. I don't care how many. Call it. Listen. You are going to call them one by one. And say I stand as an altar. And I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out of this wasteful living. Call them. Shake them on a lamako
Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. In the name of Jesus. I command it to my life now. Lift your voice and pray. You don't have to travel. Call it everywhere it is. Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell Him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Understanding, Lord, I inform the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Martin Cross, Son of God, Shabbala. La Presne, Ketos, Cross, Son of God, Secretary. I declare it. Martin Cross, Son of God, Secretary. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. That, no, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen. Because many of us here, the only time you pray is when you are together with people. Satan started attacking you. He gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life. He will never attack it at once. He can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication, the grace to pray, I receive it right now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Fire, fresh fire on my own path. Fresh grace to pray. Fresh grace to fast. Fresh grace to intercede. For warfare, I command every dead prayer life around my life. Come back to life. Come back to life.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened, no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Jalakosia Kata. I tell you, there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies. I pray for you now. I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names, everyone hearing me and standing here, whether inside or outside, you have prayed. If there is any altar as I speak now that is speaking against your life, at the count of three, I command those altars to catch fire right now. Please get ready, the power of God will come on people. One, two, three. I command those altars now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim, that altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I judge those altars now. 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 My father, I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job. They tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception. Everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category. But in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside following on life. Anyone who has been a victim. Of total failure and disappointment. Right now in the name of Jesus. 
That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them, please. Total deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work, especially for ladies. It's not because you are ladies. And it's not because you are bad. It's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit. A lady is not just another human being who is not a man. No, it's more than that. A lady is the chiefest point of entrance, even among men. That's why she has a womb. The only lady, a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit. It's not just a human being. Keep your hands lifted. That's why demons look for them. That's why spirits look for them. That's why altars speak against them. It may not be caused by you, but I'm praying for you. Keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is happening. Lord Jesus, I'm praying now. That any one of our sisters here, whose family and destiny is under siege, Shakas Kopayaka Mantele Koskata Pris Kalatoshi Kreataka and the Kren. Anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny, anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause loads around your body those loads those bodiness I cause it by the God of heaven I cause it by the God of heaven Hallelujah. I'm seeing 11 ladies. The Lord is opening my eyes. Listen now. I'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers. And this is a very serious demonic case. And the Lord wants to set them free now. You will not know it. It's not something you know. One of you used to see it. Physically, you see rings on your hands. In the name of Jesus. 11 people. Ladies especially. I'm praying now. Some are inside. Some are outside. Doesn't matter where you are. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. Lord, I pray, whoever came into this meeting, whether online or offline, and belongs to that category, in the name of Jesus, as I'm praying now, I command, I'm praying now, the fire will fall on certain people. Eleven in all I see. Lord, let it be right now. I, I break that marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed, sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is, right now in Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus, whether inside or outside, you are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know, but we're rounding up. Please, just, just be patient with me. 
I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is there is something a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now in the name of Jesus. Let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance. I command it now, inside and outside, in the name of Jesus, no escape, no escape for any power of darkness. Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here you watch what happens to your life from this meeting anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I say it again. I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now. Anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and I decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist Mary to get pregnant he showed up and said I was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant I declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child I command it to happen now in the name of Jesus let me pray finally for your finances I believe in God's people empowered there is no trial when everything around your life is not working I want to speak because some of you are titers some of you are sowers some of you bless honor God's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of Jesus I decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here I'm not talking of business I'm not talking of a job 
I'm talking of a system in the spirit where God will lift you in a way that will make you afraid. I decree and declare now. As I'm praying for you, I'm also praying for families. Because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency. I pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here, sitting on the financial destiny of any family, I clear it out of the way right now. I clear it out of the way right now. I clear it out of the way right now. I clear it out of the way right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Listen. I've shared with you my encounter. I've seen that spirit that they call Mammon. I've seen it. I've shared it here. Some years ago when I was praying. And all of a sudden. My feeling disappeared. And all of a sudden I saw a giant creature. Like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day I knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything to a poor there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today I command strange results from today. Strange encounters with destiny help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to wave your hands to Jesus. The Bible says to pray with thanksgiving. Tell him thank you. Thank you. This is part of a fruitful prayer. You don't round up a prayer with amen. You round up a prayer with genuine thanksgiving. Lord, I thank you. I know it is done. I receive it because you are faithful. This is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. It's our confidence. Hallelujah. Now keep your hands. Please look at me. I want to encourage everyone. As much as God grants you grace, I want you to use this week. Make sure that no day passes without you creating time to blast in tongues at least an hour at least an hour no if you think you don't have the strength find somebody who god has graced at least an hour tuesdays you are sure you can come and our prayer department is there praying you don't have to be a part of the, the a member of the prayer department join them because it's a season where we are breaking things through breaking things through in the realm of the spirit every day take out time I would recommend night times for you because most people are working or are students. You may not have the luxury of time to get up in the morning or afternoon, but you can maximize night times. One hour out of 24 at least will not kill you. I want you to cultivate that atmosphere. Carry that consciousness that the, my prayer is creating an altar and that I am an altar myself. I refuse to allow the devil play games with your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now keep standing everyone. I want to make an altar call now. Very quickly there are people here. Probably you came here for the first time tonight. Please let me have attention inside and outside. And there are people here who. The devil has been playing around with your destiny for many years. And when you came for this meeting tonight. As the word of God was coming, the Lord was speaking to you that we need to start afresh again. There are such people here right now. I want to give you an opportunity to hand your life over to Jesus. Or others who you were once a serious believer, but something happened around your life. Very quickly, we have just two minutes for this. Wherever you are, inside or outside, there must be somebody handing his life to Jesus. Make your way right now. I want to pray for you. Let's appreciate them as they come. Don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first person. Somebody is coming. Clap for them inside, outside. If you are outside, make your way in. Quickly. God bless you. 
God bless you, young and old. Keep coming. If you're outside, please rush and come in. Rush and come in. Clear the way for them. Those coming from outside, hurry up. Please hurry up quickly, quickly, quickly. It's not something that should take forever for you to think about. You should know immediately. Young and old, make your way to Jesus. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. Keep coming. Keep coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Let's encourage them as they come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. That, no, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen. Because many of us here, the only time you pray is when you are together with people. Satan started attacking you. He gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life. He will never attack it at once. He can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray I receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my own path fresh grace to pray fresh grace Fresh grace to intercede. Fresh grace for warfare. I command every dead prayer life around my life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened. No more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask you that you manifest yourself once again in my life Holy Spirit I cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy Spirit of the living God do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened.
Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Jalakosia kata. I tell you, there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies. I pray for you now. I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names. Everyone hearing me and standing here, whether inside or outside, you have prayed. If there is any altar as I speak now that is speaking against your life, at the count of three, I command those altars to catch fire right now. Please get ready the power of God to come on. One. Two, three, I command those orders now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command those orders be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim. That altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I judge those altars now. 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 By fire. I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category, but in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment, right now in the name of Jesus, that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them please. Total deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit. It's not just a human being. Keep your hands lifted. That's why demons look for them. That's why spirits look for them. That's why altars speak against them. It may not be caused by you, but I'm praying for you. Keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is happening. Lord Jesus, I'm praying now. That any one of our sisters here, whose family and destiny is under siege, Shaka, Skopayaka, Mantele Kos Kata Pris Kalatushi Kreataka and declare anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny, anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause lungs around your body, those lungs, those barrenness, I cause it by the God of heaven, I cause it by the God of heaven.
I'm seeing 11 ladies. The Lord is opening my eyes. Listen now. I'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers. And this is a very serious demonic case. And the Lord wants to set them free now. You will not know it. It's not something you know. One of you used to see it. Physically, you see rings on your hands. In the name of Jesus. 11 people. Ladies especially. I'm praying now. Some are inside, some are outside. Doesn't matter where you are. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. Lord, I pray. Whoever came into this meeting, whether online or offline, and belongs to that category, in the name of Jesus, as I'm praying now, I command, I'm praying now, the fire will fall on certain people. Eleven in all I see. Lord, let it be right now. I, I break that marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. My God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus. Whether inside or outside. You are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know, but we're rounding up. Please just, just be patient with me. I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is there is something, a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now. In the name of Jesus, let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance. I command it now, inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, no escape. No escape for any power of darkness. Every mark of this favor that is on anyone's life here. You watch what happens to your life from this meeting. Anyone carrying any mark of disfavor, where men should bless you, something about you becomes an irritation. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. Ah, I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I say it again, I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now.
anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and i decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist mary to get pregnant he showed up and said i was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant i declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child i command it to happen now in the name of jesus let me pray finally for your finances i believe in god's people empowered there is no triumph when everything around your life is not working i want to speak because some of you are titers some of you are sowers some of you bless honor god's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of jesus i decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here i'm not talking of business i'm not talking of a job i'm talking of a system in the spirit where god will lift you in a way that will make you afraid i decree and declare now as i'm praying for you i'm also praying for families because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency i pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here sitting on the financial destiny of any family i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now in the name of jesus christ listen listen i've shared with you my encounter i've seen that spirit that they call mammon i've seen it i've shared it here some years ago when i was praying and all of a sudden my ceiling disappeared and all of a sudden i saw a giant creature like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day i knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything doable there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today i command strange results from today strange encounters with destiny help us in the name of jesus christ i want you to wave your hands to jesus the bible says to pray with thanksgiving tell him thank you thank you this is part of a fruitful prayer you don't round up a prayer with amen you round up a prayer with genuine thanksgiving lord i thank you i know it is done i receive it because you are faithful this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us it's our confidence hallelujah now keep your hands please look at me i want to encourage everyone as much as god grants you grace i want you to use this week make sure that no day passes without you 
creating time to blast in tongues at least an hour at least an hour no if you think you don't have the strength find somebody who god has graced at least an hour tuesdays you are sure you can come and our prayer department is there praying you don't have to be a part of the, the a member of the prayer department join them because it's a season where we are breaking things through breaking things through in the realm of the spirit every day take out time i would recommend night times for you because most people are working or as students you may not have the luxury of time to get up in the morning or afternoon but you can maximize night times one hour out of 24 at least will not kill you i want you to cultivate that atmosphere carry that consciousness that the, my prayer is creating an altar and that i am an altar myself i refuse to allow the devil play games with your destiny in the name of jesus christ now keep standing everyone i want to make an altar call now very quickly there are people here probably you came here for the first time tonight please let me have attention inside and outside and there are people here who the devil has been playing around with your destiny for many years and when you came for this meeting tonight as the word of god was coming the lord was speaking to you that we need to start afresh again there are such people here right now i want to give you an opportunity to hand your life over to jesus or others who you were once a serious believer but something happened around your life very quickly we have just two minutes for this wherever you are inside or outside there must be somebody handing his life to jesus make your way right now i want to pray for you let's appreciate them as they come don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person somebody is coming clap for them inside outside if you're outside make your way in quickly god bless you god bless you young and old keep coming if you're outside please rush and come in rush and come in clear the way for them those coming from outside hurry up please hurry up quickly 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 it's not something that should take forever for you to think about you should know immediately young and old make your way to jesus the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run it to it and they are saved keep coming keep coming koinonia celebrate them let's encourage them as they come We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.